Hello everyone, uh, Mandeep Burmi here and uh, we are in uh, Brampton, Ontario uh, doing another video for you guys. So if you are in uh, Brampton, Ontario and looking for uh, car driving lessons, uh, give me a call, send me a text message or you can also book your driving lessons online through the website. Link is in the description below. It doesn't matter uh, where you are in, uh, you know, Ontario, Brampton, Mississauga, other parts of the city. Um, or uh, you know like other parts of the pro province uh, give me a call send me a text message and I will help you guys out um, so this video we are doing in uh, Brampton so we will be driving around uh, approximately 10 minutes uh, cover some of the rules like you know what your examiner is looking for uh, in your driver's test uh, doesn't matter if you're taking your uh, you know uh, G1 exit G2 exit driver's test um, you're basically trying to get your uh, you know full license at some point you definitely want to subscribe to this channel because I will be uploading a lot of uh, videos all right so let's uh, get going so first thing first you want to put your seat belt on and uh, make sure your seat is uh, good it's not too far from the steering not too close you can reach both uh, both pedals gas pedal brake pedal your mirrors are set up properly uh, rear view mirror as well and um, then we are good to go press on the brake release the handbrake shift into reverse and uh, we're gonna back up from here now when you're backing up you have to check on both sides and um, if the back end of the car goes to the left then you signal left and if the back side of the car goes to the right then you signal right if you don't put the signal on, that's going to be a demerit uh, in your driver's test. Okay, so we will turn right uh, from here. <coughs> and now we can go left. So I'm just checking traffic on both sides. Left signal on. If you're doing any directional uh, changes um, in the parking lot, in a parking lot, you are required to signal. We see a couple signs here. The sign on the left hand side says keep right because uh, the other side is actually entrance. Okay, so it's like a one way traffic. Uh, we also see sign uh, one way sign in front of us, that black sign with a white arrow inside. So if the arrow is pointing to the right, that means all the traffic is going to the right side. Okay, so it's a one way, one direction traffic. Stop sign, complete stop. No rolling stops, complete stop and um, now we are good to go if you're doing uh, rolling stops uh, in your driver's test um, that's gonna be um, automatic fail signal right <coughs> parking lots um, when you don't see any speed limit sign drive around like uh, you know uh, 15 to 20 kilometers and these are all intersections there could be traffic coming from the right hand side so you want to slow down and uh, check traffic as well we are um, turning right so complete stop here now when you go out from a parking lot most of the time we don't see a stop sign but you're still required to stop it's like an imaginary stop sign okay so do a complete stop check on the sidewalk first and if it's clear then you go forward and um, and then you do your turn now this truck is parked too close to the intersection so that means i can directly go in the next lane same time i am maintaining distance from this truck now i can go back to the right side and uh, we will be turning right um, on this uh, stop sign here so right signal on your signal should be on about 30 meters uh, before the inter intersection 30 meter is uh, approximately um, uh, 100, 100 feet and this stop sign is uh, for us so we done a complete stop now we have to go forward to look at the traffic there is a uh, truck coming from the left hand side so we're gonna wait for this truck check again and now it looks clear and now we are uh, good to go so uh, we're gonna be turning uh, right again at traffic light so I can change lane to the right so mirror check signal shoulder check right uh, and we are turning right on this um, intersection uh, when you stop behind a bigger truck like right now I'm behind a truck uh, so that means I have to maintain a little bit more distance like if you're behind a bigger vehicle 
uh, you have to um, you know uh, maintain a little bit more distance because they they are only using their side mirrors uh, to see you right so they are only using their side mirrors to see the traffic behind um, yeah so we just have to wait for this uh, truck to go first um, again we are doing this video in uh, Brampton Ontario uh, if you are looking for driving lessons um, in uh, Brampton Ontario uh, give me a call or uh, send me a text message or you can book your driving lessons uh, online link is uh, in the description below So when you're uh, when you're turning right, you want to keep your car closer to the right hand side, and uh, when you're turning left, you keep your car closer to the center line. So there's no pedestrian on the crosswalk, and uh, traffic is uh, approaching from the left hand side. So we just have to wait for this traffic because uh, they they got the right of way. So. Yeah, so in your driver's test, you know, just be patient, like don't rush yourself, uh, take your time for everything, uh, check again, now it looks clear, and now we are good to go. And um, let's uh, take this exit, so we're going to take this um, 410 north uh, north exit. So um, in your, if you're going for your, uh, you know, G uh, driver's test, like you're, uh, you're trying to get your G license, um, so that's gonna be um, G test, uh, highway test. So they will take you on a highway. So make sure you practice a lot driving at uh, 100 uh, kilometers. And uh, you wanna practice like how to merge, uh, you know, safely onto a highway and um, like how to enter safely on a highway, how to exit uh, safely uh, from a highway. So that's all, uh, that's all uh, part of your uh, driver's test. Now there are a couple other things um, you know they they will ask you to do um, like uh, three point turn, uh, reverse parking, parallel parking, and uh, sometimes you only do one thing like you know they they might ask you to parallel park first and uh, then no reverse parking and sometimes um, they ask you to reverse park and no parallel parking. It just uh, depends on the location. Uh, depends on your um, examiner as well. So we're gonna change lane uh, to the left. So a uh, left uh, signal, shoulder check, and now we can get into this lane. And uh, let's uh, change lane um, again to the left uh, when it's safe. Right now I'm looking in the mirror and I can see there is uh, traffic uh, approaching. So we're gonna change lane now. Mirror check again, signal, shoulder check, and then we get into the other lane. Speed limit, um, as you guys saw, the sign is, uh, you know, speed limit is uh, 100 kilometers. Um, so you want to make sure like you're doing um, good speed. Uh, so don't drive, uh, you know, uh, stay within the speed limit. Don't follow the other traffic blindly because you will find a lot of time people are going over the speed limit. So every uh, couple seconds, uh, you should be looking at your speed to make sure you're not going too slow. You're not going over the speed limit. Because if you're going too slow, um, that's also a problem because that can actually um, create interference with other traffic, especially when you're in a uh, when you're on a very busy highway like this. Um, you know, you shouldn't be going uh, too slow that time. <coughs> so now we see uh, traffic is uh, merging uh, from the right hand side. So. Um, we, uh, we will actually, uh, if it's safe, you can also uh, change lane. So let's uh, get into the other lane, into the left lane. And, uh, but you wanna make sure like you're doing a proper uh, lane change uh, procedure, okay? So you should be doing mirror check, signal, shoulder check, and when it's safe, um, that's when you go in the other lane. Shoulder check is very important because if you're only looking in your mirror, you cannot see your blind spot. So that's why we do shoulder check. So anytime when you're moving more than three feet to the left or to the right, uh, you are required to do a shoulder check because there could be uh, someone else in that space, right? So in your blind spot, there could be like another car, motorcycle, cyclists, pedestrians, um, yeah. So if you uh, look at this truck, I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but it says if you cannot 
see my mirrors i cannot see you that's what the sign shows um you know at the back of the truck if you can't see my mirrors i can't see you so what they are basically saying you know like half more distance don't don't drive too close to the truck because otherwise uh, they won't be able to see uh, see your car so we will be uh, taking the next um, exit uh, 107 uh, 107 exit <clears throat> and that's why we are uh, staying uh, staying in this lane so now they are suggesting um, you slow down to um, 70 kilometers because you are exiting uh, this highway and the road is also uh, turning so we are going to be turning right so uh, signal shoulder check and if you uh, look at the signs on the right hand side you have uh, two lanes uh, turning right so this lane is only for right turns and um, the other lane is uh, from the other lane you can go uh, left or you can go right so that's why it's important to uh, you know look at the signs because uh, signs will tell you which lane uh, is for left turns which lane is for right turns <clears throat> and uh, on the right hand side here we have um, shoulder that's why there was a solid white line uh, <coughs> shoulder is uh, for emergency uh, use only <coughs> okay so we are uh, just waiting for the light uh, light to turn green okay so now traffic is moving uh, light is green and uh, make sure the signal is on about 30 meters uh, before the intersection about uh, 100 feet so green light that means uh, we are good to go now we were in the right lane so we want to stay in the right lane and uh, we are just going to um, we're just gonna turn right here going in this um, parking lot now there is a sign showing no truck exit uh, access um, so we are driving a very small car so we are uh, we are good sign indicating uh, you know there is a speed bump and uh, pedestrian crossing so checking for pedestrians and uh, turning right again so right signal on doing any directional changes in a parking lot you are required to signal and we will be parking on the right hand side right signal again and now we can park on the left hand side okay so left signal shoulder check and uh, now we done our parking and we are uh, inside the yellow lines so that means the parking is good now this parking is also part of your test sometimes they ask you to actually do a reverse parking so i will do a separate video uh, for reverse parking okay because i want to show you from every angle uh, like you know where to stop when to turn the steering wheel I will also do a video on parallel parking uphill downhill and uh, three point turn as well so basically you know I want to help you out with uh, everything um, so that's why uh, if you're new to my channel subscribe to the channel so you can uh, you know get the notification uh, of uh, all the videos so thank you very much if you are in uh, Brampton Ontario looking for driving lessons uh, driving school I uh, will uh, you know help you guys out uh, give me a call send me a text message you can also book online with the instructors and uh, link is in the description below. Thank you and I will see you guys again.